Soaking hot, tired legs in Lake Superior after a July marathon? Yes, thank you. I never knew turning my muscles into popsicles would feel so good. Cold water immersion is just one of the things I cover in my long-form video on how to safely exercise in the heat. Check it out on my YouTube channel. But here's a related question I didn't get to. Does jumping into freezing water actually help your muscles, or is it just a trend people are doing without knowing if it helps? Meta-analyses show that cold water immersion consistently reduces delayed onset muscle soreness in the 24 to 48 hours after a strenuous workout. This means you feel better and recover faster, which is especially useful in sports with back-to-back -back games or during intense training programs. Think tournament soccer, cycling stage races, and CrossFit and cornhole competitions. Cold treatments can be a game changer for those scenarios, except the cornhole. But here's the catch. Feeling better now isn't always better for down the road. Studies like these two found that regular post-exercise cold treatments actually blunt muscle growth. The reason is cold icy water reduces inflammation that not only helps drive muscle soreness, but it also activates anabolic signaling and protein synthesis in overworked muscles. In other words, soaking in cold water chills inflammation and eases muscle soreness now, but minimizes muscle gains later on. So what's my recommendation? Make ice baths a powerful tool, not a lifestyle. If your goal is muscle strength, growth, or long-term adaptations, frequent ice baths may hold you back. Instead, deal with the soreness through active recovery, stretching, and massage. But ice baths are great when you need rapid recovery between competitions, after a marathon or century ride, or anytime you think your core temperature is hotter than the Qatar Cornhole Tournament. Go to YouTube and watch my long-form video on safe tips for hot weather workouts. And as always, my answers come from peer-reviewed research.